Hello and welcome to part three where I will be covering everything from Mr. Postman to whip, no, <laughs> already did whips, um, Mr. Postman and gifts and stash acquisitions. So moving right on, um, the first one I'm going to talk about is from Owls and Orchids who is Sierra and she sent me right before I left this adorable little niffler on a pendant. So he hangs like this when you put him on a necklace. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get a chain long enough. And I just kind of wanted to like hang out here. He is just the sweetest. Um, and she had several of them. I will be linking shops down below if I can do it. Um, should be able to, shouldn't be a problem. But oh my word, so cute. Thank you, Sierra. I absolutely love him. I have, I've adopted him and he is sweet and he is mine. <laughs> After that, um, Let's see. Oh, um, so I don't know if I got to mention Ashley before. So this is from Four Black Ravens. I'm going to put it up like this. And when I did the um, show at Fabioli Sellers, which I now work at, um, when I did the show, I was gifted some Specta Specs, which are Luna, Luna Love Goods glasses. And then um, she also gifted me this really sweet raspberry that's already on something. I'm not sure which sweater it's on. <laughs> but I wanted to share this because I don't think I got to. Again, how sweet would that look from a necklace? But um, if you want to check out her shop, that is for Black Ravens. And thank you, Ashley, for your gift. I absolutely love it. Um, I, just, I just think it's so sweet. Like, look at them. They're so cute. And for their size, they're really light, um, which I really love. So it's perfect. But I wanted to make sure I, sh I shared that because I don't think I got to last time. Um, and then uh, Lindsay and I, Lindsay is um, my clay maker, <laughs> if you will, um, my friend, my, my companion in all of this. And so um, she sent me a swap when we did some trades for yarn. So there's quite a few things here. I'm like looking down at everything. Um, first off, I got to receive her Gnome Sweet Gnome Club. If you um, already got yours, then this should not be a surprise. But it's a little, they don't know me. Oh gosh, he's cute. He's on a cookie. He's on a little sugar cookie. I love it. Um, but yeah, so he's like a little bit sparkly in the body, very light. That's what I love about her terms. Like they're just, she's gotten over the last couple of years getting into like smaller, thinner, well, not breakable, but like thinner charms. So it's like really working out. Um, I also, because we were working on dragons at the time, got this really awesome dragon eye. There it is. I don't know what Gypsy's getting in. She's in my crochet bag. And then um, I specifically asked for one of the little cakes. It's like a little, oh, what do you call it? Oh, Christmas cake? Qu Christmas pudding, that's it, Christmas pudding. It's a little Christmas pudding. I'm so happy. Um, and then, I was sorted. So she sent me for another swab, one of the little woolly witches. So I got my, the woolly wizard academic board. Um, you get this adorable little, you know, entrance exam type of thing, um, which was so sweetly packaged. And then uh, you're able to, hey, get your head out of there. You're able to um, be sorted into your house and uh, knowing that I am a Gryffindor, I was sorted into Gryffindor. This adorable little guy, and he's got a little hat. He's got the sorting hat on his head. I just, I absolutely love it. Obviously, I've been keeping these nice, and I also got my Hogwarts letter. Oh my gosh. I can't even. I can't even. I am absolutely obsessed. I can open these now. I've been, like, hoarding things. Gypsy, out. Then, um, I had asked for one of the little sorting hats, if you haven't seen him yet. They're so sweet. A happy little butterbeer. A hobbit door that was on my Shire socks. I think that's possibly over here. I think it's in my little bin. <laughs> and a ginger snap. I just, I love it so much. 
And then, because she's so talented, she made me a coffee, and the cup says one cup at a time. I just, it's so cute. And it's just the kind of like color and mug that I would have. I just, it was really sweet and everything was getting very heavy at that time. So it was just really, really kind of her to send that over. Um, trying to still remember it one cup at a time. Gypsy, get your head out of my bag. Hi. 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 Show me your teeth. Good girl. Checking that the dog didn't eat anything. She did not. Oh, yes, what do I have? Little buddy. Come on. After that, I uh, did take quite a sabbatical, and when I got home, there were three more things that I was able to adopt. <laughs> um, so I have a tester, um, and she made me the Jack Skellington charm, which is over on my project right here. Let's see if I can get it. There he is. It's a little charm here. And then because I'm a sucker for them. Oh my gosh, there it is. Ooh, please, apple. I absolutely love it. I'm a huge sucker for like these like Halloween poison apple things. And I'm a huge sucker for charms, so <laughs> all good here. Um, and then uh, a coworker from Fabioli went ahead and ordered me something from Molly, a homespun house. Um, and I absolutely, I love Molly's work. Um, and she just, she just picked perfectly. She picked absolutely perfectly for me. I am so excited to use these. I think they're going to be socks. Um, it's an 80, it's an 80, 20, but it's cashmere. So I feel like maybe I should do something else other than socks because cashmere maybe I could pair it with something else and make like a shorter shawl or a cowl very tempting um uh, it's yardage 407 yards yeah I can make I can make a what's the word <laughs> shawl I can make a shawl with something in that I think it would be really pretty um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Trish. I am just, I'm obsessed with it. And she was so nice. She, like, sent me Molly yarn. I <laughs> just cannot even. And then, um, I think the last part of the gifts, um, is from Shauna. And this is the card that she made, which is so pretty. And she also sent me these really cool friendship bracelets. She had some extras from her last swap, she said. And this is just, <sighs> she used my McGonagall yarn that she had bought for me and she wove it <laughs> into this incredible scarf. I am just, I'm blown away. I've never actually held woven fabric in my hand like this. I, it's, it's softer than I thought it would be, and it's lighter than I anticipated, but it's just, like, so pretty. I mean, like, can you imagine with a coat? Oh, my God. It's so pretty. I'm, I'm absolutely blown away, and I could feel, I could feel the love in every stitch on this one. Or weave? Wefted? Love in every weft? Um, but it's just, it's incredible. And what was so crazy is I'm sitting here going, kind of looks like McGonagall. And then I read the note and it was, I just, oh, I am. And it's definitely going to be a shop sample now because I, I love McGonagall. So I think, I think there's some McGonagall in order for the trunk show as well as Black Lake, because look how good they look together, which I just absolutely love. And then I guess the last few things, I already, oh, there is one more. All right, there's one more, I'll do it next time. Um, I ordered myself 
another pop because life pop is life um it's a little simple trelawney i just thought she was so sweet um so i'm excited to have her i think that she will be an excellent addition and i have another pop downstairs that i will share next time and then um this is my last installment it came right before I left in July. Um, and this is Salazar Slytherin's Locket from a homespun house. So this was the last Horcrux that I had to collect. Had to collect. <laughs> um, so this was the, the seven skein, which I very much enjoyed. Um, and now I have to, I have to get all of my Horcruxes together because I'm pretty sure I want to do a Horcrux shawl, like a what the fade Horcrux is. But I don't know what I want to do with that yet. Which what was this called? Oh, this was the August Yarn Club. Oh, Trish. Oh, Gypsy. She's looking out the window. But yeah. No. Off. Off. Good girl. Right. All right, and I think that's everything that I've got in front of me. Um, everything's been just a bit crazy recently. Um, I, I did lose my dad at the end of July and everything's just been a whirlwind since then. Um, haven't really been feeling up to much of anything. Podcasting, cooking, walking, getting out of bed. I have been working on getting better with that. Um, Pat has been wonderful and uh, the daily interactions that I'm having with my testers for the Christmas stuff, with the Granger testers, any likes and comments you guys just really help me help me through more than you probably know um, so I want to thank you all for that and let you know that I might be might be slowing down a bit so to speak um, just just to get my head above water again so thank you uh, for all of your kind words and wishes and I hope that this episode was still fun <laughs> Um, and I will be seeing you soon, hopefully. Um, this does take care of the whip, so I'll come back next week with FOs, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> um, so reminding you and myself to take it one cup at a time, no matter how large that cup may be. And I will see you next week. Bye.